Hey everybody, Jay Privman along with Marty McGee as we continue our look at the big races leading up to the May 1st Kentucky Derby. Marty, just one race on the docket this week, but it's a good one. The $1 million Rebel Stakes at Oaklawn, it drew a field of eight on Tuesday, and it's a nice intersectional battle here. You've got horses shipping in from all over for this race, uh, but the horse that I think is to beat is Caddo River, who won the Smarty Jones at Oaklawn in his most recent start. He's a Brad Cox trainee, and he's Brad Cox obviously well represented on our Derby Watch Top 20. So let's start with Caddo River, his performance last time in the Smarty Jones, and your expectations for him on Saturday. Well, this is the first time, Jay, that uh, Caddo River is running against something. I mean, he has beaten pretty much nothing at odds on in each of his last two. He looked terrific winning off in the Smarty Jones, but don't they all when they win by half a pole? So uh, this is the, I'd, I'd be interested to see what the closing odds are at post time for these because I think that both uh, Concert Tour and Keep Me In Mind will take big play as, along with Caddo River. I wouldn't be surprised if they were all right around two to one. So uh, uh, this is a big deal. Oh, by the way, terrific uh, story you wrote on John Ed Anthony, oh, the thanks. owner of Caddo River. I, I, you know, we used to write those uh, John Ed stories back in the 90s all the time because he was so active. But it was a, it was a great uh, uh, retroactive or whatever you'd say, going back and revisiting all the success he's had in this game, dating back, what, 40 plus years. So um in, in that respect, I would not mind seeing Brad Cox and Caddo River and John Ed Anthony uh, come to the forefront in this race. Yeah, John Ed Anthony, as uh, Marty uh, alluded to, I wrote a, interviewed him on Tuesday. He's the subject of the Derby Watch feature. He is the owner and breeder of Caddo River. He's won three uh, classic races, but never the Kentucky Derby, and certainly it's something he'd like to see happen. Uh, he's been in the game a long time, going back to the days of Cox's Ridge in the late 1970s and through Temperance Hill and Pine Bluff and Prairie Bayou and uh, just on and on and on. And Fantastic article. Fantastic story. I appreciate that. Thank you. So we'll see how Caddo River does. And he is named for a, a river in Arkansas. And we'll see how he does uh, on the road to the Kentucky Derby on Saturday. Uh, I really liked his last race, Marty. I think he's a quality horse and I think he's going to take some beating. He's got the home field advantage and he's got the advantage of having already gone two turns which Concert Tour hasn't done yet, I think Concert Tour will be fine going two turns. And one of the things I've just found the most interesting about Concert Tour is his career is completely <laughs> parallel right now to what Bob Baffert did last year with Nadal. Maiden sprint win in January, comes back a few weeks later and wins the seven furlong San Vicente at Santa Anita. And for his third start, goes to Oakland and uh, stretches out for two turns in the Rebel. The exact same thing Nadal last, did last year. Nadal won the Rebel. Uh, does Concert Tour, in your mind, win this year's Rebel? Well, he could. I mean, he's, he's bred for the longer distance, being by street sense. He was not flattered, though, Jay, by right. the Freedom Fighter running as poorly as he did in the Gotham. So, um, I mean, he would do well to do what Nadal did and, and go ahead and win this race. Nadal, as we approach the original May 2 date of the Derby last year, uh, was, if not the favorite, he was one of them. So uh, it, in that respect, I'm sure that Bob Baffert would like to have him join uh, his other his stablemate life as good as one of the uh, legit Derby favorites. Yeah, I, I'm with you on on sort of the you know, not really knowing what to make of Concert Tour, because I liked his win in the San Vicente, and I think he's a quality horse. He trains really well out here. But you're right. He was not flattered at all by Freedom Fighters' very poor performance, I thought, finishing fourth uh, with not a whole lot of excuse, by my mind, in the Gotham last week. Uh, it was a one-turn mile. It should have flattered his style, and he just was was no good. Uh, in that race. So uh, we'll see if Concert Tour can ship and win. It's it's a move that has worked for Baffert before many, many times over the years at Oaklawn. And this will obviously be, be his toughest test yet going up against the likes of not only Caddo River, but keep me in mind, who was a top two-year-old last year and was supposed to run a couple of weeks ago in the Southwest, but owing to that deep freeze that caused the cancellation of racing at Oaklawn for about a week and a half, he had his Three-year-old debut postponed till this race. The Rebel, he missed some training time, and he's obviously running against a couple of quality Colts. What are your expectations for him on Saturday? Well, I think the total was about 11 days of training he missed, whereas 
although Brad Cox is based also at Oakland, he has kept uh, some of his, most of his better horses down at fairgrounds, and therefore he was able to train him. So I, I, this might be something of a warm-up, I would think, Jay, and he is kind of a comfort behind her. I'm talking about keep me in mind. Uh, terrific in winning the uh, Kentucky Jockey Club Stakes as a maiden and the favorite in late November, but that's been, what, close to four months, uh, three months now, more than three months. So um, I would think that Robertino Diodoro is uh, cognizant of the fact that he might need this race, the Colt might, and uh, going for using this as a race going forward toward the Arkansas Derby and then on back to Churchill Downs. I wanted to ask you one thing. One thing that's really kind of bothered me about this horse is that even though he ran well visually in the Kentucky Jockey Club, the fig came back really soft, just a 79. You were there that night, what, and you just called the performance terrific. So obviously you were more impressed by it, at least watching it visually, than the way the fig came back, right? Well, I think he passed them all down the stretch. Yeah, you? right. Yeah, when you like a harness horse, when you just go past them all, it, it looks really good. But, yeah, I mean, Smiley Sabatka was the runner-up in that race, and sitting on go was in there. And as we know, both of those Dale Romans horses have not done much. So uh, he's got a thing or two to prove. But, I, again, I think I, uh, Deodora would like to see a nice, even kind of race to set him up for the next two. And one thing that we do know about him, at least or assume from having watched him run as a two-year-old, the longer the better for him. Uh, and whatever he does on Saturday, we would certainly expect better as he goes out to a mile and an eighth and a mile and a quarter. It's really a good race on Saturday. It's the Rebel Stakes at Oaklawn uh, featuring Caddo River, Concert Tour, and Keep Me In Mind, all in the Derby Watch Top 20. You can find out more about the Derby Watch Top 20 with our video recap of last week's three big stakes races, including the San Felipe, which produced the new favorite on Marty's line for the Kentucky Derby. So check all of that out here at DRF.com. We'll see you next week. For Marty McGee, I'm Jay Privman. Thanks for watching.